Welcome to 2nd of January's Golly Blessing 2023. We are back in a new year. Now, Supreme God Father is talking about not just a new year, he talks about a new era. It's going to start very soon. It's going to be a golden age after this iron age is done with. But are we ready for that? Because our intellects have to be very golden to enter that Supreme Creator's golden age. And for that, we have to be very powerful. And that's what God is trying to tell us today in this Godly Blessing. Let's explore what exactly is that power and what practice do we need to do so as to feel powerful enough, good enough, worthy enough to enter the golden gates of heaven. So Godfather says, may you constantly be an embodiment of power and practice the art of keeping your mind busy and free from any waste. Now, generally we find ourselves thinking wasteful thoughts. We generally think about things which might not happen and end up attracting them in a life. How about that? So God says that whatsoever you're vibrating, whatsoever you're thinking is exactly what you're going to attract in a life. Now God has given us a very beautiful method to remove the waste and to think about Him. That means the Supreme Creator. If we are constantly thinking about the Supreme Creator, automatically the waste thoughts of how, when, what, where are going to go away. And when they go away, automatically our karmic accounts, suppose you're supposed to meet somebody who's going to come and take away certain rest or peace of mind from your life. Or somebody you were supposed to meet right now as per your karmic accounts, who is supposed to bring about some kind of financial problem to you. But you are in a state of meditation. You are in a state of constant connection with the Supreme Creator while walking, while talking, while doing things. And because of that higher vibration, <coughs> you are protected. You end up not meeting that person, but you change your direction somehow and you are going to pass away from, pass by from some other road or you're going to meet up somebody else instead of that person. How about that? And that is what happens when we are in constant connection with the Supreme Creator. Our power to make decisions is on the basis of clarity, clean mind, as compared to a past karmic account or a past negative vibration which we have collected from somebody haunting us. Think about that. So God says in, wo in today's world, people in top positions set their daily timetable according to their time. In the same way, all of you who are the images of support for world renewal, that is you and me, if you have done the seven day understanding of the basic Raj Yoga meditation, then you'll understand what is God's plan is to change the world from Kali Yuga into Satya Yuga. So if you are also that soul who's listening to this, think about it. We are support for the whole world renewal. Those who are the hero actors in this unlimited drama. Why unlimited? Because it keeps on rotating. Golden, silver, copper, iron age again is going to rotate. Golden, silver, copper, iron age. And it's an infinite drama because two entities, God and you and I souls, forget about our bodies, we never perish. So everything is recorded within the soul. Whatsoever I'm doing right now, whatsoever I'm thinking and feeling right now, and whatsoever you are feeling and thinking right now is already pre-recorded within you. The only thing is that now with godly guidance and God's knowledge, we can change certain things which we are feeling right now. This is the only time when we can do that. This is the only time when God actually puts his foot in between our destiny. Now, he doesn't have a physical foot, obviously, but he puts his foot of knowledge in between our destiny and we can use that knowledge and understand how exactly the creation is done and then make choices. God then says, the ones who have lives, the ones who have lives as valuable as a diamond also have to stabilize your minds and intellects in a powerful stage and set a program for them. That means the mind and intellect has to be thinking powerful thoughts, has to be uh, mind and intellect, which is removing negative, impure, waste thoughts constantly. It's like a factory which is removing the waste and only 
keeping the things which are useful. So you have to discard that waste and recycle it. So even if a negative situation or a negative person or a negative feeling comes and attacks you, at that time we have to use our mind and intellect with divine knowledge and the power of Supreme Creator's meditation connection with him we have to change that we have to transform that or we have to purify that instant and that can only happen when we are constantly in connection with the supreme creator now god says also have us also have to stabilize your minds and intellects in a powerful stage and set a program for them that means now you are supposed to think only about certain aspect which is this 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 this, this and that can only be done during amrit vela that means early in the morning. That means you are programming your mind. Use the art of keeping your mind busy and you will become free from all waste. You know, an empty mind is a devil's workshop. Actually, a mind without wisdom is a devil's workshop. God then says you will never get upset. After this, if you have any waste thoughts, any impure thoughts, and you don't utilize this divine knowledge and you don't meditate, automatically your mood is going to be an upset mood. Now to change that is what God is saying. Use the divine knowledge, use the powers, and remove the waste thoughts. How do you do this is what is taught in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis so that you are clutter free. Do come over and learn it. With this, Om Shanti.